Welcome to our class for the 12th grade. So, the question is, we are going to talk about today's is Mother Language Day. Do you know that International Mother Language is celebrated every year on 21st of February? So, before the lesson, I have the questions which is about the languages. The first is, what language do the Mongolian people speak? Okay, so answer is Mongolian. So second question is, what language do the Chinese people speak? They speak Chinese. So third question is, what language do the Russian people speak? They speak Russian. And fourth question is, what language do the French people speak? They speak French. And the last question is, what language do the American people speak? They speak English. So now you know about what lesson we are going to talk about. It is about languages. Now open the book, page number 19, which is English 12. So there are many objectives we have, but today we are going to learn about classes of reason and non-fiction reading and some practice. So let's see now. Clauses of the reason. You know some of the clauses of the reason, but here we have four. Number one is due to. Number two is because of. Number three is due to the fact that. Number four is because. So, if you don't know the usage of the clauses of the reason, and I'm going to explain now. First, due to. Due to is an adjective. So that's why it modifies noun and pronouns. So the defeat was due to the rain. It's the example of due to is why the rain is noun, the defeat is pronoun. So, due to modifies the defeat is noun. Second example is, my low grade was due to the lack of study. So, same as the previous sentences, due to is modifying now, same my low grade phrase. My low grade phrase is noun phrase. Okay, now go on. Next reason of the clauses is because of. It's the adverb. So when you are using that because of, you have to pay attention that it is adverbal clause. That's why it modifies verbs. Okay, now let's see the examples. Number one, he was defeated because of the rain. So because of modifies was defeated verb. So next sentence is, he didn't study very hard because of his illness. Also this example is same as the previous one because of modifies the verb he didn't study. So look at this two sentences for each clauses of the reason. Look at what modifying are. Now let's see some example. Number one, the heavy snowfall blank the cold front. Okay, now think about the sentence 
which is possible to use due to or because of. Here the sentence is, the heavy snowfall is noun. It means due to modifies the noun. That's why the correct answer is due to. So it works. The heavy snowfall was due to the cold front. Okay, now let's continue number two. The snowfall came blank, the effects of the cold front. So came is the verb. So it's the adverbal clauses, which is you will use that because of. So it works the because of. If you are going to use here due to, it doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. Number three, blank, the effects of cold front, the snowfall was heavy. Okay, the correct answer is because of. Because of why is, was heavy is adjective. That's why adjective, it's also clauses of the reason, is because of. Number four. Okay, now pay attention to that sentence is very carefully. Same as the number one. So the sentence is, the crash was blank, the erratic nature of the other driver. So the was to be is the past form is always followed by adjective that's why adjective is due to the crash was due to the erratic nature of the other driver is correct form okay the last sentence now also look at this very carefully the crash occurred blank the erratic nature of the other driver. Okay, so is it adjective or adverb? What do you think? So, accurate is verb. That's why we need to verbal is because of. So, the correct answer is the crash accurate because of the erratic nature of the driver. Okay, now I think so. You will now know about the clauses of the reason. Okay, now let's continue next grammar, which is about conjunctions. It's uh, the sentences, which is due to the fact that, and also the other conjunction is because. So look at that here. Here we go, do, due to the fact that is, it's five words, but it's one word, but it's one word. So it's adjective conjunction. So conjunction always followed by the whole full sentences. So it emphasizes the fact, not show a reason. Okay, let's see the example. Sales of mobile devices have soared in recent years due to the fact that internet connections are widely available and that consumers are increasingly mobile themselves. Okay, look the sentence now. So due to the fact that always follow with the whole sentence which has pronoun and verb. So this sentence has the pronoun is internet connections and the verb is are and next sentence is that consumers is pronoun and are is verb. That's why it's the conjunction use it that due to the fact that. Okay, now go on next one because. Because is one word, but it's also the meaning has one, which is an adverb. It's also conjunction 
and it emphasizes the reason, but it doesn't show effect. Okay, let's see the example again. The meeting was cancelled because the boss was ill. So the reason is boss was ill. It's not fact. So I hope so now you studied and you learned a little things about the clauses of the reason. Okay, now continue. Open your book, page number 100 and 101. There is the text which is about language. So there are three sentences using due to and due to the fact that. Okay, let us see now. The sentence is in the text is this is partly due to the fact that and there are still many parts of the world that have not yet been fully explored including the Amazon and the Highlands New Guinea. So this conjunction is the same as the previous one followed by the whole sentence which is there are still many parts of the world that have not yet been fully explored. So this is the conjunction. Okay, now look at next sentence, which is another reason languages fail to survive is due to the death of current native speakers. So the languages fail to survive is another reason languages fail to survive is the pronoun which is modified due to. So due to is the correct. The last sentence is in this text, this rapid decline in indigenous languages is due to the overwhelming effect of European settlement over the past 500 years. So due to modifies noun, we learned about this before, just I'm reminding you guys. And this rapid decline is noun, which is modifies due to. So here we have three sentences, which is shown in the text. So let's continue now the text again. So the whole text is about nonfiction text. I think so, you know the nonfiction text, but if you don't know, now I will explain that one. Nonfiction text is always tells about true information and explain things in real true story. And also everything is real in that text. So as a homework, you will read the text again. It is about true information or explain things or everything is real. So this is non-fiction text. So there are five sentences which is in the bold, the new words. Now I will explain some new words which is in English. Number one is extensive catalogs. It is the synonym is covering a large area, wide ranging. It's an adjective. So in Mongolian meaning is in red. And here in the text, the sentence shows that as one of the most extensive catalogs of the languages in the world, it gives updated information each year on how many languages there are and how many people speak each language. Okay, now listen and repeat after me. Extensive catalogs. Extensive catalogs. One more. Extensive catalogs. Okay, go on. Next sentence is surrounded by uncertainly. Uncertainly means in a way that shows you do not know what to do or believe. Or 
the other meaning is not able to decide about something. It's now. So also the Mongol meaning is in, in red. Okay, and again, listen and repeat after me. Uncertainly. 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 Now let's see the sentence which is in the given in the text. The exact number of languages spoken has always been surrounded by uncertainty. Okay, go on. The third word is indigenous. Okay, listen and repeat after me. Indigenous. 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 Indigenous is native, which is Mongolian languages, our indigenous language. It's an adjective. And here the given sentences in the text is an example of this can be seen in North America where 165 indigenous languages exist. Here in Mongolia we have also many indigenous languages exist. Okay? The fourth word is handful. Handful. And repeat after me. Handful. Handful of mature aged people means small number of. It's an adjective. In the text given sentences is only eight of these languages are spoken by 10,000 people and approximately 75 languages are spoken by only a handful of mature aged people. Okay, listen and repeat after me. Handful. Handful. Okay, the last sentence is overwhelming. Overwhelming effect. It's the compound noun. It means that difficult to fight against and very great or very large. It's adjective. Okay, now let's see the given sentences in the text is this rap rapid decline in indigenous languages is due to the overwhelming effect of European settlement over past 500 years. Okay, listen and repeat after me. Overwhelming. 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 So, I hope so. You know that today some of new words and clauses of the reason and I will give you now homework. So you can use the book and if you have any questions, you can ask your teacher and any help. Homework number one is read the text again on page number 100 and exercise 3a and then and answer the question exercise 3b. It's the non-fiction text. And number two is you have to remind your grammar usage and read and observe the grammar usage due to due to the fact that because of and because. Number three is do the exercise 4C and 4D on page 102. And the last one is check your progress, you understood or not, check yourself on page 120, exercise 2. Thank you so much for paying our lesson.